the reality is everything is falling into place. Hello everyone and welcome to Lena Mystic where we embrace our spiritual awakenings by identifying our personal power and authentic selves. Today I'm here to talk a little about the moth spirit animal and the message that it's bringing you at this time in your life. So yes, 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 I know that the moth can seem like a common animal to see or a common spirit animal to see. Absolutely it can. But for some of us that don't really see them at all and then we randomly start seeing them during a different phase in our life, you know that this message is for you. But even if you clicked on this video, you read the article that I put on my website, or you've been looking up what the moth means spiritually, you also know this message is for you. Just the fact that you are aligned to this moment lets you know. The moth is sending you a message. So keep watching to figure out what that message is. Overall, the moth comes to let you know that you're going from comfort to growth. And even if you weren't very comfortable, you still ended up getting comfortable in your situation. You felt like it was going to be your norm for a while, or you just sat there for a while and didn't really think of alternatives. Whatever the case is in your life, the moth reminds you things are massively shifting in your life. So get ready for the shift and welcome it in and get ready for some massive changes. This is going to be inside yourself and because it's going to be inside of yourself, it's going to shift the world around you. The moth goes through a process called metamorphosis. You may be familiar with this because there's a few animals that go through this. The dragonfly and the butterfly are like the most known that go through this process. And the moth is one that is a part of that family that goes through the metamorphosis process. Through this process, they enter into a cocoon after they've been a caterpillar or they've been in another stage in their life and then they enter this cocoon and it's kind of like this waiting period this what's gonna happen next it can be quite lonely uh, even dark at times for them and it could really pressure them to just fold under pressure you know and just wonder you know what's next what am I gonna do next what's what's happening what am I turning into why do my insides feel like this why why is everything that's happening right now feel like this they have absolutely no idea how they're going to come out of this, what they're going to look like, how it's going to feel once they finally get out, and some of them don't even know that they're going to get out. But instinctually, they end up figuring it out. They adapt to this process of growth and change and just observe what's going on in the process and instead of kind of just saying, I know exactly what's going to happen, they have this opportunity to look around with wonder and just explore how they're going to adapt. When they're ready, they instinctually break free of this cocoon. The cocoon knows they're ready and they know they're ready as well. And they explore the world as this new emerging thing that they are now. And they're no longer what they were before. I mean, can you imagine going from a caterpillar to a moth? And how beautiful that must be to be like, beautiful and confusing. Like, what? I'm, I don't look the same. I don't feel the same. What are these things on my back? Why, why how am I flying now? But instinctually, they learn how to fly, they get used to it, they adapt to it. They no longer go around the world the way that they used to. In fact, it seems like they've emerged into a new world because they are no longer squirming on the ground. They get to fly. They're seeing the world at new, higher heights. And these new, higher heights that they're embracing, they never knew these existed. We humans go through a very similar process to metamorphosis, and that would be called spiritual awakening. This is when we're ready for our next phase, and we don't always know, but our mind, body, and spirit knows that we're ready for this ascension. Just as the moth knows it's ready for the cocoon phase, and it's ready for the metamorphosis. This spiritual awakening that you're currently going through might be mighty uncomfortable, may make you cringe, may make you wonder, well, who am I? You may get a little awkward, um, who knows? But whatever it is, embrace it. You may cry at moments. In fact, you're gonna cry in moments. You're gonna feel like you're starting at the bottom all over again. You're gonna feel like, what the heck is going on? You're gonna feel like nothing is going right in some moments. But the reality is, 
everything is falling into place everything that is destined for you is happening you're beginning to see your truth for too long you were trying to control the situation you were trying to control the outcome but your mind was so small before you couldn't even see the vast opportunities that were awarding themselves to you and the moth is letting you know think bigger honey think bigger believe and have faith in these dreams that you have believe and have faith in yourself first that's what the moth is showing up for to let you know you're ready for this new stage and you may not know what's going to happen next but what you do know is you're being aligned by divine force the source this is absolutely not a time to panic not a time to freak out it's just a sign that you're ready to take a break from your normal routine and that can be very disheartening for some of us because it's like i'm not used to this i'm used to this playing out used to this 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 and that being lined up and now there's nothing lined up you can't see anything but that's okay because you have no idea what is happening right now and that's a good thing that means it's time to get creative it's time to explore a new routine it's time to explore who you are now because you no longer resonate with who you used to be you are completely different now nothing is the same anymore and in fact you can feel the differences inside of your bones inside of your own energy you can feel the shift now observe and explore every little thing your life is headed in a new direction and it may feel dark at moments but this darkness is where light is created that's where the light is created so embrace this opportunity to create your own light from all of your own being this is almost as if you've unlocked a superpower and now you must adapt to the superpower, learn how to use it, learn how to breathe it, learn how to see it, learn how to feel it, learn how to smell it, all of that. You're learning how to, how to embrace all that you are now and you have unlocked a new superpower and that new superpower is just a new you. This superpower is waiting to be observed, explored, discovered, and utilized. It's ready to be put to use. So look at this present darkness as just an opportunity to go towards your destiny and embrace your destiny. You're ready. You're totally ready. Reinvent yourself. Reconstruct your belief system. Design your new lifestyle. This right here is your cocoon moment. This is right before you emerge the new you and you adapt to this new world. You're vibrating at a different frequency and this frequency is letting you know that you're ready. You're emitting energy that's stronger than you ever felt or experienced before in your life. So step into your power. The moth is telling you you're ready. I really hope this resonated with you all. If you'd like to read the full article, you can do that through my website, lenamysticoracle.com. On that website, you can also book me for Reiki alignment sessions. Um, you can join us for some courses, seminars, workshops, and I have all types of stuff on there as well. Intuitive readings, Reiki sessions, just a lots of fun connecting stuff. And I have plenty of blogs on there as well that you can read about spiritual awakening content. If you really, really enjoyed this video, please do make sure you go ahead and like, share, subscribe so the rest of the world can see what I have to offer because I feel I am here to help others fulfill their purpose. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you in another video. See ya!